Hello everybody, this is Pun, and I wanted to do a quick series on OBS, and this is going to be a series that I've entitled OBS for Noobs, and this first video that I'm going to cover is going to talk about scenes, which I think scenes and sources are two of the most important things you really need to understand about OBS, because that is really where you get to build your live stream from scratch and make it custom for yourself. So this video is going to be really short, but it's going to talk about scenes, kind of give you an overview of what they are, how you can use them in various situations and some things that you may not know about them but first before we get into the video i want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this where you want to learn obs or learn about audio learn about video for your live stream learn about things like cameras this is where you want to be so make sure you hit the subscribe button i would love to see you come back but also i want to talk about today's sponsor own.tv are you a noob like me when it comes to making graphics for your live stream? Well, that's why own.tv is there. They give you stream packages such as the Minimal series, which gives you everything that you need to build your live stream, including customizing your own Twitch profile. Now, I'm going to be using this in my next series of tutorials for OBS Studio. So if you're interested, then definitely make sure you watch those videos. But listen, I'm gonna provide a link down in the description below and a 50% off code using code TFS that you can use to purchase your stream packages. I appreciate own.tv for sponsoring this video. All right, so let's talk about some scenes. So by default, you get one scene already set up. But what are scenes going to do for you? Well, scenes really is the meat and potatoes of your live stream because your scenes are where you're going to build what your themes are going to look like, all the sources that you're going to have that you're going to use in your live stream in various situations. So you want to design your scenes around what you're going to be doing. If you're going to be live streaming, think about the different things that you're going to want to have in your live stream in, ter in terms of scenes, like a starting scene, a be right back scene, an intermission scene, a game scene, just a webcam scene, any, you know, all these different things that you would need to think about something you need to really plan. But it's easy to set these up because you can simply just click the plus sign and start adding scenes as necessary. And so I'll add four scenes here. And so scene one, by default, you can go in and you could rename these. So I'll go ahead and let's rename this to start. Scene two, again, you can rename this and we'll name this one BRB. And you could use that as an intermission scene too. A lot of people do that. Scene three, we'll name it game. And scene four, let's call this webcam only. Okay. And I'm going to do something I normally do. And I'm going to take a, put a dash in on the bottom of that. And I'll discuss what I'm talking about there in just a second. So we've got four scenes here. So these you can drag back and forth and you could rearrange uh, these as necessary, you know, depending on what you want to do. Uh, that's how scenes work. But now you have scenes, but you have nothing to show inside of this. So within each scene, you can add different sources. Now sources we'll talk about in another video. Uh, but there is a wide range of source types that you can use, including audio sources, video sources, image sources. The sky's the limit, really. I mean, you can do all kinds of things. You can make it as simple as you want, or you can make it as, as complicated as you want, depending on what you want to do for your scene. But within these, we'll just add some sources here real quick. Uh, we'll add a browser source. This is, this is a, exactly what it is. It's a URL browser. You can see the URL there. Resize this to match the canvas size, which is 10, 1920 by 1080. We'll do a game source and capture source. We'll call that game capture and we'll just leave uh, capture any full screen display. All right. We can also add video capture devices. Now video capture sources are things like uh, webcams, uh, digital cameras that are using a capture card. If you're using a capture card to capture your gameplay, say from a console, this would be where you would go. Uh, all kinds of things, anything that would, that would uh, fall under the category of video capture device. Now I have an Elgato face cam hooked up here. So there is my face cam and you can, you know, you can resize these as necessary to put it where you want. Uh, you know, now typically what I would do, and let's talk about this other scene. So this is the two basic types of scenes that, oh, thank goodness for the undo. So there's two basic types of scenes that you have. You have your normal scenes 
that are going to be your theme. So if I want to build a scene around my starting screen that I want my viewers to see, that would be one type of scene. The other type of scene is what we call nested scenes. And that's what this little N is. This tells me that this is going to be a nested scene. So I want webcam only. I'm going to go and add that video capture device source, that face cam in here. And let's just call this uh, face cam. Face cam, not can. We'll select the face cam and we have it. Now, this is a nested scene. What a nested scene is, is it allows you to take the nested scene that you have made, this webcam scene, and then place the whole scene into another scene. All right, so it, what I recommend you do is if you're going to use a certain source, like a, a webcam or whatever, in multiple scenes, and you don't want to have to keep adding it individually, I recommend you doing a nested scene instead of adding the source individually. That way, if there's a change that you want to make inside the, with the nested scene, any changes you make within this scene, say I want to add a watermark to this, like if I have a logo with a watermark and I want to add a watermark to my webcam, then when I add that watermark into the webcam, it will also change it in all of the other scenes that I've used to use the nested scene in. So I will go to game here and I will add, instead of going to video capture device, I'll add a scene. And then I will add the webcam only. And so now that webcam only, which you can resize as necessary in here, is here inside of your game scene. Now here I got the webcam only, it's the normal size. Here I've got it resized as I need. So if I wanted to go here and I wanted to add another source and let's see if I can find an image source just so you can get an idea of what this does. I will add, let's see, let's add this little guy right here, All right? Don't know what it's gonna look like, but there you go. There he is right there. I'll put him in the lower right hand corner. This is one of my little uh, emotes for s streaming. Now, when I go to the game scene, it should also be in the game scene. Anything you change within the nested scene will automatically change in wherever else that scene is being used. Another instance where you want to use a nested scene as compared to a regular scene is if you want to have some sort of dynamics for the scene. One of the popular things right now is to have a transition, like a move transition to where you're uh, say your camera, your webcam will move from one side of your screen to the other, or it will change positions, or you can make it disappear. Well, you would use nested scenes for that. The two main reasons that you would use and two different types of scenes that you would use to build your live stream setup. So scenes are really easy. Now, another thing I recommend you doing, you can do different scene collections. So scene collections are here at the top and you can make new scenes. So scene collection. So if I wanted to do, say I wanted to do scenes based off of just recording gameplay or recording, you know, for content, I could do record only and I could set a new scene collection. And then there you would then start building your scenes as necessary. If I wanted to go uh, back to record, you can also go in and, you know, rename this if you want to and call it record. Let's call it uh, main streaming or mainstream scenes. Right. You can also go in, say, if you have multiple different themes that you want to do, say you have an 80s theme or a 90s theme or a RGB theme or neon theme, you can go in and name them as necessary and then set those individually up. So you don't have to destroy all of your other scenes that you've made, these collections that you've made. You can just make a new scene collection and then redesign it. And then you just switch between them as necessary as you need to use them. And it's really easy to set up. So that's really the two main types of scenes and the two main ways that you would use scenes and use scene collections. Now, a couple of things I want to show you real quick. Uh, one thing you need to understand about scenes and sources are, is they are global. So one of the things that you might find that will give you an error if you try to do this is by using the same name. So here I've used face cam as a source in my webcam only. Here I will go and let's try to add... Uh, Let's go ahead and add a video capture device and I will call it create new face cam and I should get an error 
because I've already used it. And so the name is already in use. So to keep that in mind, that's what the global uh, sources are. You cannot rename that. So you'll have to, you know, face cam one or whatever you want to do to rename that if you decided that you wanted to use that. So keep that in mind. I cannot name a scene face cam because then it will tell me it's already in use. Okay, so just that's one of the little oolies about scenes that you need to understand. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. And this is typically what I do for my scenes. I build a couple of these different types of scenes. And then within that, I will build nested scenes if I'm going to use it in multiple things. And this could apply to text. Say if you're setting up overlays for alerts, you can build a nested scene for your alerts and then you just transpose them into all of your different elements that you need as necessary. Uh, webcam is one that I always use for nested scene. Another one, if you're using like a certain image or watermark, uh, branding, something like that, and that's going to be something you're going to use across multiple scenes, that's another option too. Another thing could be a video source or anything like that. Uh, so nested scenes are really good, but you know, you just got to be aware of how you set them up. And like I said, I always recommend you label them to so that you'll understand that, okay, this scene here is nested. Personally, I use the underscore in. There's all kinds of different ways. Some people just use an asterisk, you know, and that tells them that that's a nested scene. So, all right, guys, that scene's in a nutshell. Very simple to understand. There's not a lot to really learn about it, but you do need to understand what regular scenes are compared to nested scenes. Nested scenes really are something that you can really do some advanced things to your live stream. A lot of these huge streamers that, you know, you admire like Dr. Disrespect, uh, they use nested scenes for a lot of things. So that's something you need to understand, but scene building and planning out your live stream is very important. Now, next week I will go in depth on sources and i'll show you all the different source types how you can use them different things that you can do and we'll basically build a full scene using all the different source types and i think you'll find it very interesting and so if you want to know when that video goes live make sure you subscribe click that bell for notifications you'll know when that video goes live other than that guys thank you for watching i do appreciate it again thank you owned.tv for sponsoring this video have a great rest of your week we'll see you later